thank you for tuning in to Auto Eat Clinic. My name is Aaron and this is Mike. We have a 1999 Toyota Camry with an engine noise. With a quick listen with a mechanic stethoscope, we found out and isolated the noise to the power steering pump. The power steering system is a hydraulic pump over manual steering. Simply put, it just makes steering easier. Today we're going to hopefully show you how to replace, the best way to replace, the power steering pump on this 1999 Toyota Camry. We went ahead and removed the power steering return hose and we're letting it drain. Once it's finished draining, then we're going to remove the power steering pump. Remove your splash shield to give you some more room. See the power steering pump actually pivots to apply and release tension on the belt. We're going to loosen up all the bolts, remove the belt, and then remove the bolts. There's the bottom bolt. We have one upper bolt. Cars are usually pretty good about using the same size bolts. These are 12 millimeters. Bolt heads. We do have a plug on the top. It's slightly difficult to get to. That's off. Now remove the pressure line. Go ahead and compare the two parts, the old one with the new one, make sure everything looks similar. You don't want to put it all back together and have the wrong part. You can see we're going to have to remove the power steering pump pulley, and the return line, and the bracket. Most pumps come with new O-rings wherever they need to be replaced. This is one O-ring that needs to be replaced. There's the O-rings that go with the pump kit. We don't see any damage on this O-ring, but when we've got it out, we got a new O-ring, might as well replace it. Another visual inspection of the old pump, make sure it didn't miss anything. Does not appear so. Now while we're here, we're gonna go back together. It's easier to show you with it out. Your power steering pressure line. You'll notice you've got two, you got a washer on each side, and when it bolts into the pump, this is the way it goes. This one is actually connected. These are compression washers. You're pretty much okay to reuse them. They work by compression. That's how they seal. And usually they're not connected like this, so make sure there's one on the bottom and one on the top. 
that being said, go ahead and put our pump back in. We're going to tap it tightly, slightly with the impact gun. And it's tight. All right. Put your wheel back on, lower it, and then we'll fill it with power steering fluid. Go ahead and start the vehicle and add power steering fluid to it. Now you're gonna have a lot of bleed procedures that people are gonna tell you, you're gonna read about. The easiest I've found is just pour it in and turn the steering wheel. Go drive it afterwards, take it around the block. You should have all the bear bubbles out of it in just a short trip. Verify there's no noise and the repairs, repairs completed. OE Clinic, we replaced a noisy power steering pump. We had a vehicle come in, had a noise, we diagnosed it. It was coming from the power steering pump. It's pretty cut and dry. You just drain the system, remove the belt, and then remove the pump, and replace it back. Uh, you can go back with either a new pump or a remanufactured pump. Now those are two different options, Aaron. Since you're in parts, what do you recommend? What have you seen the best success and failure rate with, either a remanufactured pump or a new pump? Uh, the best way to go on a, on a power steering pump is a new, whether it's new from the factory or whether it's new from the aftermarket. What happens when your corporations, your manufacturers, aftermarket companies, when they rebuild them, sometimes they will cut corners and you'll get a power steering pump that the quality is just not there. You'll get a leak, you'll get uh, threads damaged. I have seen that before. So if it's most cost effective and feasible for the customer, I'd definitely go with a new one. Great. Great. That's some good information there. Now on the bleed procedure, GM has a recommended bleed procedure anytime the power steering system is broken and the fluid comes out. I've never had much luck with it. The easiest, best way I've found anytime you need to bleed the power steering system is simply fill it up and drive it. Within five minutes of driving, you should work out all the air bubbles and the car should be fine. Exactly. Well, thank you for tuning in to Auto E Clinic. Check us out on Facebook, like our page, watch our videos on YouTube. Check us out, subscribe to us there, and we appreciate you for watching today. Thanks again, and remember, goats are always naked. Always, unless you put clothes on. <laughs>